In this video, I am going to show you how you can install Kali Linux on any stock Android device without root and without voiding the warranty. It is an official method published on Kali Linux documentation. I will put the link in description. For the installation, we would need to download Termux. So download the Termux app from F-Droid and not from Google Play Store because it's not updated there. So head to your browser, search for F-Droid Termux. Open the first link. Scroll to the bottom here in the packages section. Download the latest TPK file. Install it. After the installation, head to the official documentation. In order to install Kali Linux, we would need to run few commands in Termux. We scroll down to the installation section. Copy and paste each command one by one in Termux. Grant the permission. Here, after running the last command, it will start to download basic Kali rootfs file, whose size would be around 1.6 GB. I'll be skipping the downloading part. After the download, it will start to extract that rootfs file. And after extraction, it will take space around 7 GB on Android. I'll be skipping the extraction part because it will take time after the extraction it would ask you if you would like to keep that downloaded image of linux or not so i'll be keeping that for now as you can see that kali linux has been successfully installed on android device
you would need to set up the login password for the first time. So head to the documentation, copy command netunderkex password. Paste in termux, make your password. Verify it. Now if you would like to access the graphical user interface of Linux, you would need to download NetHunter Kex. To download it, go to the URL store.nethunter.com, search for Kex, click on NetHunter Kex, download the latest APK file. Install it. After installation, head to documentation, copy command net under kex and paste in termux. It will start a VNC server. You will get some details of it. Just copy the port number. Open it under Kex. Here in the place of 5900 and just paste that port number. And in the place of VNC password, just type the password you have created and click on connect. Now you have access to the graphical version of Linux with all basic tools pre-installed. If you want all the tools, you will need to fully upgrade the Kali Linux from the terminal using commands already written in docs of Linux. As you can see, here are all the basic tools already installed. Let's check if internet is working. As you can see, YouTube is working fine. If you'd like to close the Linux, you would need to stop the VNC server. So head to the documentation. Copy the command nethunter kex stop and paste it in termux. It will kill that VNC server. You would need to do this because if you don't do this, it will eat up your Android resources in the background. As you can see, the VNC server has been stopped. So that's it. Thank you very much. If you've liked the video, hit thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.